So, you say you're the type of person who serves kibble and crystal and has a walk-in closet full of leash accessories. Well, a cell phone snapshot of your pooch just won't cut it. Luckily, though, there is an artist who recognized the market for classic dog portraiture, oil on canvas, displays of tail wagging love. And ABC's TJ Wenick met the woman behind the masterpieces. Do you treat your pooch like a prince? Does your dog walk around like he owns the joint? If so, one of these oil paintings might just be at home in your hallway. For us, they're surrogate kids, so we dote on them. Bill Four and his partner just commissioned one of Carmella, his rough coat collie. Get that ball, come on, whoa, 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 whoa. Here she is chasing a ball around the yard. And here she is as the Empress Maria of Russia, complete with hot pink nails, just a minor embellishment to the portrait of the real empress, originally done in 1857. Carmela, is she a princess? Oh yeah, 100% princess. I mean, it's a little extreme probably to have portraits done of them, but um, on the other hand, uh, I don't think it's more than we would do with any other family member. In fact, he has done it for another family member. Here's Bill's other dog, Dash, as a member of the Russian military. I don't just take one old-fashioned painting and, and start sticking animals in it. Meet the artist, Valerie Leonard. She's not much interested in painting the man of the house, as she is man's best friend. It's slightly dark. And it is supposed to be funny. And people either love it or they hate it. It's clear she sees dogs and cats as much more than just pets. A dog has one life, one spirit. It deserves as much value as any other creature. She's not alone. Her company takes orders from all over the world, each one meticulously painted by hand. I think she has just enough of a Mona Lisa smile. And these canine collectibles aren't cheap. An oil on canvas like this one runs about $900. Is it money well spent? Absolutely. It's joy, it's sharing the life we have with our dogs. These portraits, which resemble the work of the great masters, are truly a work of the 21st century. That's because Valerie uses computer design to map them out. The head tilted at just the right angle, the paws placed just so. So many people say, how do you get the dogs to wear these clothes? They think the animals are actually posing for you. Yes, and some people, animal rights people, get very upset that I forced these animals into these clothes. I have a great respect for those people, by the way, but that's a bit silly. For Nightline, I'm TJ Winnick in Connecticut.